Let's get right to the CIA sex scandal and those breaking new details overnight about the veteran FBI agent who took the first investigative steps that would lead to the downfall of CIA Director David Petraeus. ABC's Brian Ross has been tracking the very latest on this story. Brian, good morning. Well, good morning, Amy. The identification of the agent overnight was another piece of the Petraeus case puzzle falling into place. It was last May when Tampa socialite Jill Kelly began to get a series of emails that made her think someone was stalking her and her friend, CIA Director David Petraeus. So Kelly went to an FBI agent she knew personally, 47-year-old Fred Humphreys, whose lawyer now tells ABC News Humphreys was the agent who helped launch the investigation and then later went to Congress when he thought there was a cover-up. If we hadn't had an individual that apparently believed in right and wrong with no gray, we may never have gotten to where we are in this case today. The FBI did not tell the White House about Petraeus's affair with his biographer Paula Broadwell until the day after the election, even though agents knew about it a month earlier. FBI Director Robert Mueller went to Capitol Hill Wednesday to defend the Bureau's handling of the case. Around the same time, the president was saying he has full confidence in the FBI, but is waiting for a full explanation. I am withholding judgment. But even as FBI agents continued to investigate the classified documents found in the computer of Petraeus's mistress, the president said he knew of no security lapse. I have no evidence at this point from what I've seen. But the Department of Defense has now revoked the security clearance that was held by Paula Broadwell. As for the agent, Fred Humphreys, his home outside Tampa was dark last night, other than this car racing out of the driveway shortly after ABC News arrived. Sir, ABC News. Adding yet another bit of spice to this soap opera in Tampa, reports that Humphreys had sent a picture of himself shirtless to Jill Kelly. His lawyer says that's true, but that it was a joke between friends. A photograph taken when Humphreys posed next to two or three firing range dummies that showed only their heads and naked torsos, and he was pretending to be essentially a fourth dummy, his lawyer says, and that he had no romantic connection with Jill Kelly.